Hey guys, it's FIFA Rally here, and welcome to episode 106 of Let's FIFA 13, where we'll have a lot of gameplay uh, from the African Group Winners Tournament, and also a little bit from Division 1. So into the first game, it's the quarterfinals. I come up against uh, a team there with not the perfect chemistry, and my first chance is here with Carlos Eduardo. I pick the ball up with Neymar, and I end up getting a very lucky penalty. And Neymar, he will convert that himself to make it 1-0, and we'll continue just before halftime. Once again, Neymar on the ball, a few nice skill moves there, he puts it into the back of the net, I have a two goal lead. But then we go into the second half, you catch me on a counter, I try to cover the pass across goal and get to it, but a terrible first touch and he will make it a 2-1 and just two minutes later it's a 2-2, so that lead just disappeared in matter of no time. But luckily, I will step my game up here only three minutes later. Neymar to make it a 3 2. And I'll get another chance here in the 79th minute. I will find Neymar on the edge of the box. A nice few skill moves here to go past a few defenders. He gets a tackle in, but somehow I'll panner the defender and make my way into the box again. Put it into the back of that complete Neymar's hat trick, and it's a 4-2. And one final chance in the 90th minute. Quincy on the ball goes past the defenders, but an easy save for the keeper. So the game ends at 4-2, and I'm through to the semi-finals of the cup. And I'll continue with the same side, adding a few contracts, and I'll come up against the team which will get it's a lot of Premier League players, but none of them are in the right position or formation. So the chemistry is not the best, as you can see there. But he still gave me a pretty good game. It's not before the 33rd minute that I managed to get through with Carlos Eduardo and make it 1-0. And here you see the halftime stats. Only one shot on target like combined from the two teams. And then he starts the second half off by getting Tavis and Ramirez on and substituting off the required players for the tournament. I'll, and I'll talk a little bit more about that later on in this episode, because this second half, it was just... It's, it's just crazy, I, but you'll just see here from the gameplay, we played 5 minutes and we both score 1 goal each, and just 6 minutes later, terrible defending for me, and it's a 2-2, and he will pick up a penalty as well here from the push and pull and convert it, and all of a sudden he got the lead after I had a 2 goal lead myself, so I'll of course be trying to get it back, I should probably have passed the cross goal here, and I end up picking up a corner, and from that, I will make it a 3-3 free -free with Asamoah, and then 5 minutes later, a nice dummy and Quincy gets the ball for free it is and it will become a 5-3 as well it's Wallison on the ball recreating Neymar's combo from the last game perfectly this time around and we have a 2 goal lead but he will still get 1 goal back in the 81st minute but it is too late so the game ends at 5-4 with only 1 shot on target in the first half and 80 goals in the second half so 2 completely different halves of halves of football but then I went on to play a division one game because I had to rest uh, the team for the African group winners a tournament and uh, I couldn't play the gold cup because if I do that I will like lose the other tournament so I had to play some Division 1, which I haven't played in a while, and uh, it will end up getting, um, the score ends up being 1-1, and then we go into the second half, where I'll pick up a penalty here, dragging it back away from the keeper, and Tevis, he will convert it to make it a 2-1, giving me the lead, and then 73rd minute, I'll find Aguero here out on the sideline, a nice little rainbow flick to go past two defenders, quite lucky to hang on to it, and we'll let it pass the keeper, and a panner on the defender, so a pretty nice goal there to make it 3-1, and that is the end of that game, I rest my players, I get three points, and I'm quite close to actually winning the division title, but instead of um, playing complete, continuing in Division 1, I'll go into the tournament once again into the final and I'll come up against a team which is pretty good but still quite a few players which doesn't really get the perfect chemistry and it's from Pong getting my first and only chance really worth showing off the first half as you can see here not many chances whatsoever so we go into the second half where it's from Pong on the ball and he passes to Carlos Eduardo flicks it back over he said quite lucky to get back on the ball a scoop tends to get in position for the shot and that is 1-0 giving me the lead and in the second half I I did equate quite a few chances, getting some shot in on goal. Here we hit the post, and then just a few minutes later, it's Wallison on the ball. He will find a Jetson winner over the top ball, and the keeper misses that completely, and a terrible header there from Jetson. But luckily, only a few minutes later, we'll find Wallison, and he will do some really nice work here. Go past several defenders. I end up failing the scoop turn, and it ends up being a pass across goal. But nonetheless, it is a goal. It makes it 2-0. 
and that's the, how the final will end I believe so uh, I get a bunch of coins there and I can actually uh, start over from the tournament and I'll have to say it's very enjoyable to play despite the people um, which you'll see as well in this game people like substituting off the players and getting on better players I, f I like I feel like I wish there was a way to to prevent this like let's say you cannot substitute off the required players unless it's uh, another player who like um, um, completes the demands because as you can see here he takes up three of the required players and gets on three uh, Premier League players and it's a little bit cheap at least in my opinion but he will get a goal here uh, from a terrible mistake for me and he goes with the I can't hear celebration and that made me a little bit angry and I just tried to get back to uh, get that lead and I'll get it in the 87th minute on a rebound and one final chance here in the 19th minute with a jet and makes his way into the box goes past two defenders but the shot gets blocked and the keeper will save it there so the game, game ends at 2 to 1 and that will be the end of the episode guys I hope you enjoyed it and I'll try and have another one out tomorrow so thank you for watching and I will talk to you later